Climate change is happening. It's something that, that is related to the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. But it's not just the Brazilian rainforest that's capturing carbon. Here, in this country, our own moorlands are capturing carbon. It's been estimated that there are 20 years equivalent of UK emissions locked up in the peat soils of the uplands, in the moorlands. The things we always take for granted. And that's the reasoning behind the Moorland Centre, to get that message across, to explain to people how they work, why they're important, from carbon conservation perspectives, from wildlife perspectives, and of course from recreation perspectives. At the Moreland Centre here, we've tried to, if you look, replicate a hillside. We've got a hillside with a, a little stream that cuts through it, and the stream's been deliberately designed so that it burbles down in the same way that you have sedimentary rock up on the top of the hill, and if you look at Kinder, any of those characteristic Moreland streams, that's how they operate. The roof is a sedum roof. It's not a turf roof. It's designed to capture carbon. It's three times more efficient than, a seat, than an ordinary turf roof, and that offsets the carbon that's used in the pumps to power the waterfall. If you look at it from a distance, it replicates the hill behind it, so that in autumn, as the hill changes colour, so too does the seed and roof. It's designed to be an integral part of the landscape to help people to understand it, help people value it, and help people care for it in the future. It's surrounded by a campsite, so underneath we have kilometres of small pipes which feed into a heat exchanger which provides underfloor heating. It has large south facing windows and an atrium which capture heat and enable us to reduce the environmental footprint of this visitor facility. It's got imaginative ways of looking at text and interpretation while at the same time giving people space because that's the one thing about being on the moors in the Peak District. Maybe it's the busiest national park in the UK, but you still have space. And it's important that, that that access is available to everybody. You know, here we can bring the smell of heather or the touch of cotton grass close to people who have mobility problems. We can let them see at first hand how these ecosystems work. And that's important. If you go into the, the shows that we use, they're designed so that a walk and a guided walk with panoramic views allows person watching it who's sat in front of that to experience that sense of space, that sense of panorama, that wide angle vision if you like for life.